Senator, can I add something? I'm Dr. Alan Blum. I uh, Please, served on an FDA advisory committee, and again, I have great respect for the staff. And I, it breaks my heart, and I wasn't prepared to do this, to, to, to catalog the list of abject failures of the FDA over the last 10 years. We all know about them. Uh, from antibiotics in, in animal feed that, that have resulted in resistance and, and contamination to uh, 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 women's hormones, to antidepressants in children, uh, cash donations to doctors from drug companies. It's all been botched. And this is an agency that is now going to take over a product that has no redeemable health value. It, it strikes me as, the, as, as an exercise in absurdity for this agency to be the one that the proponents of this bill want to entrust with the most irredeemably harmful consumer product in our society. I would love to see a separate agency or a separate Congress, as, as uh, Senator Coburn said, with the courage to tackle the elephant in the room, which is Marlboro. That's what's killing people. It's not little camel number nines or whatever new little product come on the market that will be the definition of infinity. Hey, Senator, let me disagree. Totally. Dr. Conley, go ahead, please. Let me disagree totally with what he said. I mean, if you read the history of the FDA, it's probably one of the most greatest public health institutions known to our country. Uh, when it prevented the adulteration of meat by throwing sugar in it. it. It stepped in and it stopped that in the early part of the last century. R.J. Reynolds throwing sugar into tobacco products today is no different. It's adulteration of a very harmful product to make it even more attractive to kids. FDA dealt with HIV, fast-tracking the research, did a wonderful job. FDA has done food labeling. So our nation consumers have much, much more knowledge about foods. When Massachusetts post the MSA try to get the ingredients in cigarettes, we were sued by a big tobacco, by six companies, four o'clock that afternoon, spent six years in federal court, $20 million of their litigation, just trying to tell adult consumers what's in their products so they could make a choice between one that could be more addictive and less addictive. If this industry has, has changed, they wouldn't be suing us to give adult consumers information about quitting. FDA has got a wonderful history, and I, I can recommend some very excellent books to my close friend, Alan, to read about the history of FDA, and I think this agency can do a miraculous job on an issue that this Congress, this nation has failed to address. Thank you.